Colonial America At the beginning of the 17th century, European countries claimed land in what we know now as America. They traveled a lot and long routes using big ships. The first colonies in North America were along the eastern coast. Nations fought for the control of the territory. England won the war. By this time, the English colonies numbered 13. They were Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Connecticut, Rhode Island, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Maryland, Delaware, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia. You will learn more about each one of them through the course. The colonies had different objectives. Some came to make money, others to keep the family together, and others just to practice their own religion. But they were not alone. Indians lived before them on that land. As a way to relate with Indians, Phil Green prepared a feast and invited the Indians. Turkeys were not happy. They were the main protein in the feast. During the feast, they prayed, they ate, and they celebrated. But will this action serve as a means to respect and treat well Indians? Through the course, you will discover the answer. Long after the first Thanksgiving, American colonists believed that they had a right to govern themselves. More and more they believed that they shouldn't have to pay so much in taxes to England, especially since they couldn't serve in the English government and have a say on how high or low their taxes were. More and more Americans voiced their concerns over higher and higher taxes. A conflict began to build. The English response was to isolate the colonies from each other in hopes that the American people would not pull together as a whole. England closed one of the largest ports in America. Closing it meant that Americans couldn't get food or other essentials from England or anywhere else unless they paid extra for it. And you will see how were the food and the taxes imposed to this colonist. But the punishment has a backfired. Americans pulled together as never before. They took up arms again, the English governors and fellow soldiers, even though they had fought together for England. Now they fought again, England for the right to govern themselves. The result was the American Revolution. Years later, a group of colonists were educated, knowers and believers of the right politics. They started writing the Declaration of Independence. And on July 4, Thomas Jefferson and the Congress ratified this declaration. It was not easy, and you will see the effects of this war. Also, you will see and discover the remain alive in the process. But now, just be sure that what you have now as the United States of America is the result of more than 200 years of fights, ideals, and ways of discovering what they thought was right.